Hello friends, today we solve the problem on uniform acceleration method. So let's start. Here is a question. A car starts from a rest and accelerated uniformly on a straight road. Another car B starts from a same place 5 seconds later with the initial velocity 0 and it accelerated uniformly at 5 meter per second square. If the car overtakes car B at 500 meter from the starting place, find the acceleration of car A. We solve a problem on uniform acceleration motion. This is a rectilinear motion and we use Newton motion's equation. If you don't know what is a rectilinear motion and what are the Newton's motion equation, then watch our previous video. Link is in description. Okay. While solving the problem, we have to identify which kind of motion is this. It is a rectilinear motion, but in a rectilinear motion, there are three motions. One is a uniform velocity motion, another is a uniform acceleration motion, and another is a variable acceleration motion. In question, they mention the car A is accelerated uniformly. Means motion of car is a uniform acceleration motion. And also, car B also accelerated uniformly. Means both the car has, has uniform acceleration motion. In this question, we have to find the acceleration of car A. So let's draw a diagram. This is a car A. Which is a car A which is start from rest. Means your initial velocity is zero. Car B start from rest means initial velocity is 0 and start motion 5 seconds later and start is motion 5 seconds later after the motion of car A. Car B overtakes car A at a distance 500 meter from the starting place. Let point C be the point where car B overtakes a car A and the distance between starting and point C is 500 meter. In this question, they mention car B start the motion after a 5 seconds. If, let us consider, car A required 30 seconds to reach from start place to point C, then car B will require 30 minus 5 seconds means 25 seconds to reach from start point to point C. So let consider car A required time T. Let T time required to reach from point, point X to point C and car then car B required T minus 5 seconds from point X to point C. So let's start the solution. Now we consider motion of car A from X to C and the motion of car A is a uniform acceleration motion. They mention in a question. Okay. Here they say car A start from rest means Initial velocity of car A is 0 meter per second. Okay. Final velocity, they do not say to calculate the final velocity of car A. Then means the final velocity of car A is not required. The distance traveled by the car A from point X to point C is 500 meter. The acceleration of car A we have to calculate and the time required by, for a car A to reach point C is T second. Okay. So we use the second Newton motion equation which 
contains initial velocity, displacement, acceleration and time. So th this Newton motion equation we for use for a car A, therefore displacement is SA, initial velocity is UA, time required for car A is TA, acceleration of car A AA and time required for car A is TA. Okay. Here the displacement of a car A is 500 meter, the initial velocity of car A is 0. The time required for car A is T plus half into acceleration of A we have to calculate and time required for car A is T seconds. So we get a one equation acceleration of A is equal to 1000 divided by T square. Okay. This is our first equation. We have to calculate acceleration of A, but we don't know the what is the time to require for car A to reach from X to point C. So we have to calculate the time T first. We also have motion of car B from point X to C. The motion of car B also is a uniform acceleration motion they mention in a question. Here the initial velocity of car B is zero. They say car B start from rest. Here final velocity of car B not required. Displacement of car B is 500 meter. The acceleration of car B, they given in a question, acceleration of car B is 5 meter per second square and time required for car B to reach, to start from X to reach point C is T minus 5 seconds. As I mentioned earlier, if car A takes 30 seconds to reach point C then car B requires 30 minus 5 means 25 seconds to reach point at C. Therefore if car A requires T seconds then car B requires T minus 5 seconds. Okay. Here we know initial velocity, we know displacement, we know acceleration and we don't know the time required to reach from point X to point C. So we use the Newton second motion equation. Newton second, second Newton motion equation is S is equal to UT plus half AT square. The displacement of car B is SB. Initial velocity of car B is UB, time required for car to reach point C is TB, acceleration of car B is AB and time required to reach the point C is TB. Here we know the displacement of car B which is 500 meter. Initial velocity of car B is 0, the time required to reach the car to reach the point C is T minus 5 plus half into acceleration of B we know 5 meter per second and the time required to reach the point C is T minus 5 square. Okay. So by solving this equation, by solving this equation we get the required time. We get the required time for a car A to reach from point, from starting point, from starting point X to point C. But in a question, in a question, 
दे आस टू कैलकुलेट द एसोरेशन ऑफ कार ए वी गॉट द इक्वेशन फॉर एसोरेशन ऑफ कार ए इज हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई टी स्क्वेर एंड वी कैलकुलेट द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कार ए टू रीच पॉइंट सी दैट इज नाइनटीन पॉइंट वन फोर सेकेंड पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ टी इन इक्वेशन वन बाय पुटिंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ टी इन दिस इक्वेशन नंबर वन वी गेट द एसोरेशन वैल्यू टू पॉइंट सेवन थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर दिस इज अवर फाइनल आंसर थैंक यू इफ यू फाइंड माई वीडियोज आर हेल्पफुल देन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल थैंक यू